Hey everybody, so I had a request to do a glammed up type of zombie look. <laughs> so I'm really glad I did it. It was so fun and it's actually really easy. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just stick with me. I'm going to take some liquid latex that I got at a Halloween store and I'm going to make kind of like a fake wound on the side of my head. So I just applied a thin layer of that and then I actually just took a piece of tissue paper and patted that on and then I'm going to go over that again with another thin layer of the liquid latex. We're going to leave that to dry and come back to it a little bit later but for now I'm just going to start with the contouring and I'm taking a matte dark gray shadow and I'm just going to apply that to where you would normally contour uh, around my cheekbones. We want a really like gaunt, ghostly look. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones and bring it down to the side of my mouth to really give us that hollowed out look, as well as around the temple area and the forehead, just go right up to your hairline. Also going to contour a little bit under my lip there to add to that skeleton type of look and also your nose. Just go from the inner part of your eyebrow all the way down the side of your nose. And don't forget the jawline. Taking that same shadow but with a really small blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eyes a little bit and I'm gonna put that in the crease, a little bit above the crease actually. And as you can see right there, I'm concentrating that color right underneath the inner part of my brow. And that just changes the shape of our eyes a little bit and makes them look a little more hollowed out. And I'm also taking that color underneath my eye and be liberal with it. Don't worry about sticking just to your lash line because you really want to emphasize your dark circles. And as you can see, I'm actually pulling it down onto like my under eye area to really emphasize those, well, bags. Because <laughs> we want to look sick. Now I'm going to go back. I think the latex is dry. So I'm just going to apply some of my foundation over that to blend it in with my skin a little bit better. And then I'm just going to take a little cream palette that I picked up from that same Halloween store and I'm going to use a sponge and go into that red and there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Just be creative about it, don't hold back and I'm just patting that on just randomly to get kind of a bloody look and then I'm going to go into the black to intensify that. And when the black mixes with the red, it actually makes kind of like a purpley type of color, which is just going to make it look even more bruised and gross. I'm going to use a little cuticle tool, and I'm going to make a little hole in the liquid latex. And you can just kind of pull it around and shape it the way you want. You can even tear some of it off or you can pull it back and it'll look kind of wrinkly. Then I'm just going back with more of that cream makeup and filling in those spots to make it look like a gash. Okay, and I'm going to work on the eyes a little bit more and I'm taking that purpley maroon color and mixing it with the dark brown right next to it and I'm going in the crease with that just to kind of add some depth and dimension to our crease. Then I'm taking just a tiny bit of that matte black there just to intensify it even more and make our crease seem even deeper and our dark circles even darker. I wasn't satisfied.
satisfied with the intensity of my contour. So I'm just going back with that small blending brush and contouring a little bit heavier. Now this is where the glam comes in. I'm just going to make a really thick line on my upper lash line with some liquid eyeliner and I'm going to wing it out pretty heavy. I'm just going to take some really dramatic, thick, false lashes and apply those. And now for the lips, I'm going to take a red lipstick and apply that. And don't really worry about being too, too neat with it. Because I actually went ahead and smeared it and then kind of wiped it away. So that gives like a really smudgy, messy look. <laughs> and now for the fake blood, this is the fun part. Dab it anywhere you want, um, let it run down your face, just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. You can use this for a zombie pinup, cheerleader, even bride. Just have fun and happy Halloween!